Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss greedy best for search algorithm in artificial intelligence with the help of simple solved example. This is the solved example number two. Link for other example is given in the description below. First, we will understand what is a greedy best for search algorithm. Greedy best for search algorithm tries to expand the node that is more closer to the goal node on the grounds that uh, this will likely lead to the solution quickly. So, what the greedy best for search algorithm does is from a given node, it will identify all paths and the path which is more closer to the goal node that will be selected and then the same thing will be repeated until the goal node is reached here. To do this, the greedy best for search algorithm evaluates the node using the heuristic function that is uh, f of n is always equivalent to h of n in this case, where h of n is the estimated cost from the state at node n that is uh, the current node n to the goal state. So, what it does? It will uh, calculate the estimated cost from node n to the goal node and the one which is having the minimum that will be selected and the same thing will be repeated until the goal node is reached in this case. So, we will understand uh, the greedy best for search algorithm with the help of example. In this case, we have been given uh, this graph where p is the initial state and s is the goal state here. So, what we need to do is uh, we need to apply the greedy best for search algorithm for this graph and then we need to identify a path from the initial state to the goal state as well as we need to find the path cost in this case. As said earlier in greedy best for search algorithm, we use this function that is f of n is equal to h of n. h of n is the estimated cost from the current node that is uh, nth node till the goal node here. So, that is what I have already discussed in the previous slide. Now, we will use this function and then we will select a node which is more closer to the goal node and the same thing will be repeated until the goal node is reached here. From P, there are three uh, paths are there that is uh, P to R, P to C and P to E. Now, uh, what we need to do is we need to calculate the F values for all three uh, nodes in this case. So, first we will calculate the uh, F value for A that is F of A is equal to H of A h of a is written here that is 11 in this case. So, f of a is equal to 11 here. Similarly, we need to calculate f of c. f of c is equal to h of c. h of c is equal to how much? It is 6. So, that is what I have written here. Similarly, f of r is equal to h of r. What is h of r here? That is 8. So, f of r is equal to 8 in this case. Now, once you evaluate the f values for all the three nodes, we need to select one node which is having the minimum value here. Out of these three, C is having the minimum value. So, what we do is we will select a path from P to C and then we will continue from here onwards. Now, we have selected a path from here to here that is from P to C here. Now, from C we need to identify the possible paths here. Again, there are three possible paths are there. One is towards M, another one is towards U, another one is towards R here. Again, we need to calculate the f values for all three nodes here. That is, f of m is equal to h of m. h of m is equal to how much? 9 in this case. Similarly, f of u is equal to h of u. h of u is equal to how much? 4 in this case. That is what I have written here. Similarly, f of r is equal to h of r that is equal to 8. The same thing is written in this case. Among these three, which is minimum? f of u is minimum. Now, what we do is uh, from C, we will select a path towards U that is nothing but uh, C to U in this case. So, this is how actually it looks like. Initially, we have started with P. P has three possibilities. Out of that, we have selected C. From C, we have to select uh, that is uh, U in this particular case. Once you select uh, U as the node, which is more closer to the goal node, as uh, which is not a goal node, we need to select a path from U here. So, there are two paths are there, one is towards S, another one is towards N in this case. So, what we need to do? We need to calculate the F values for S as well as N in this case. So, F of N is equal to H of N which is equal to 6 here and uh, second one is F of S is equal to H of S which is equal to 0 in this case. Between these two which is minimum? 0 is the minimum that is nothing but F of S is having the minimum value here. So, from U, there are two possibilities are there. One is uh, towards uh, N, another one is towards S. Between these two, S is having minimum, so we will select S here. Now, once you select S, uh, the next thing is uh, to check whether S is the goal node or not. Here, S is a goal node, 
So what we do is we will stop in this case. In this case, uh, we have followed a path from P to C, C to U and U to S to reach the goal node from the initial state. And the total cost of this uh, path is equal to the first one is 4 here and second one is 3 and the third one is equal to 4 here. If you add all three, you will get 11 as the path cost uh, to reach the goal node from the initial state in this case. Now, there is a disadvantage of a greedy best for search algorithm because uh, if you see this one, that is uh, P to R, R to E and E to S, the total path cost will become 4 plus 5 plus 1 that is equal to 10. But for this particular path, we got 11 as the path cost here. So, the greedy best for search algorithm is not an optimal algorithm. The reason behind this one is uh, it uses the heuristic values. It does not uses the edge values here. If it uses the edge values, it would have given the optimal uh, path. But because it is using the heuristic values, it will give you the solution, but it will not give you the optimal solution sometimes. So, this is how the greedy best for search algorithm works in artificial intelligence. This is the solved example number two. Link for other example is given in the description below. I hope the concept of a greedy best for search algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.